No, he has gotten it, and this match is getting really, really intense. What are your thoughts on this build? Well, it looks like Jibo already has it. I don't know if Dada is going to take it now, but this is a surprise attack from the back. Bhaiyo or Beno, aap sab kaise ho? My name is Shant Chita, and welcome to my vlog. Today, I'm just going to take you with me and I'm going to just, you know, spend some time with my dog and just catch up on a few household chores. So you guys are going to come along and you're going to be there with me like you my bestie. And I'm going to show you everything that I'm going to do. I hope you enjoy this vlog. Let's get going. The first thing that we have to do is we have to actually wake up our dog who is fast asleep. We have to let him go outside so he can take his morning piss. Because everybody got a morning routine, right? Let me just help my dog complete his morning routine, okay? Thank you. Bye. He just finished peeing. Come here, Jibu, come. Come, Jibu, come and sit with me, come. Yay! Thank you. I'm just sunbathing right now. And me and my dog, we both are sunbathing. Although it's pretty much fall. Man, I can't believe that it's fall already. That was like really, really quick. I just remember summer starting and I was like, yeah, man, I'm going to do so many things. We're going to travel. And we did travel. We actually went to Algonquin Park earlier this summer. It was beautiful. Which, by the way, if you've never gone to Algonquin Park, I'll have to make like a vlog about that. Like next time I go, I'm definitely going to film because it's such a beautiful place and especially during fall. In fall time, it's like five times better because of the fall colors. But uh, we went in summertime. Yeah, man, it's already September. When I'm filming this video, it's like September 5th. And in about a week from now is Halloween. <laughs> Halloween, Halloween, it is Halloween, it is dog is literally like yo are you okay are you high are you high again i don't know if this happens with your dogs if you're a dog owner please tell me okay but like whenever there is like a squirrel that walks by in my backyard my dog goes crazy like he starts and i don't know maybe it's because we play with these toys and the the toys look like squirrels so maybe my dog thinks that this is just a moving toy when it's actually a real life squirrel but he goes crazy, bro. He just goes super insane. And also with cats, there's like this cat, which let me show you where the cat walks by. The cat walks by like right there. For years, like ever since I moved to this house, that cat, every morning, the cat just walks by over there. But whenever my, that, whenever that cat walks by, my dog is like, oh my God, get out of my territory, boy. What's wrong with you? Get out of here. Right, Jibu? Right? Is that true or what? No comment. No comment. Is that, is that what you have to say anything about that, sir? Man, it's a lot of work to have a garden like this. It takes a lot of work, bro. Like, you have to pretty much mow the grass. I still have to do de-weeding, which is like such a time consuming process, but it has to be done, you know, like I have to actually go and pick out the weeds because if I don't pick out the weeds, it's a kind of invasive species that's going to mess up the growth of the flowers. So I kind of have to de-weed. Maybe I'll do that today, guys. There's a tree that we have over here. There's like cherry tomatoes that grow on that tree. Sorry, it just got cut off. I was trying to say I also have some other plants over here which grow green chilies. My mom, she was a gardener. So she was passionate about this stuff. And that was one of the reasons she bought this house too. And she developed this passion from my grandfather. I call him Dadu. My Dadu was also like a really big fan of gardening and flowers. Like he knew so much. He was also a hunter. I don't, um, why am I saying it like it's some sort of accomplishment? In his youth years, he was actually he used to hunt tigers. Now I have some other family relatives who also hunt tigers. But you have to understand that the uncle of mine right now who hunts tigers, he only hunts the ones which are 
man hunting species right the ones which invade villages and like start eating unarmed kids in poor villages in india yeah those tigers definitely need to be controlled so my uncle takes care of those tigers my grandfather on the other hand who i'm talking about i think he used to it was like a, a matter of pride for him to you know hunt some of these tigers uh which is kind of messed up but it still feels kind of badass my 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 dadu was the og tiger king of the 1930s y'all <laughs> the og bangladeshi tiger king dhaka was where he used to live before the partition happened of course but yeah <laughs> guys he was sitting for like 5 minutes and i'm like come come and he was just not listening but then finally he listened yes Jim I ain't gonna let you have it too bad it's in my hand you can do my comp can this is only up to me cuz it's only in my hand No, he has gotten it, and this match is getting really, really intense. What are your thoughts on this build? Well, it looks like Jibo already has it. I don't know if Dada is going to take it now, but this is a surprise attack from the back, and we are just uh, please pa pass me some popcorn over there. This is getting very interesting. Oh my goodness! It looks like Dada has it. I ain't gonna let you. I ain't gonna let. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I think it's over there. I think it's over. Damn it! How dare you even? How dare you do this? Damn it, Dada! This is Halloween. This is Halloween. This is this. <laughs> this is Halloween. This is Halloween. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There you go. Good. Oh, I think my dad is coming. These paintings, by the way, my mom made these paintings. Yo, what's up, guys? I am just working out right now. Oof! I just finished doing my ab exercises, and now it's time for some arms, bruh. You see these guns, baby? I need to build these guns and turn them into motherfucking eighty forty sevens. Eighty forty sevens. That's right. Not just the AK-47, the AD-47. Okay, I'm just gonna, what the fuck am I talking about? Yo, I just wanna quickly show you uh, the materials, the equipment that I use. First of all, I have this little bad boy. It's a yoga mat, right? But I also use it for my ab exercises. I do a lot of, um, I don't know what it's called, but what's that like ab exercise when your legs, like imagine you're laying down like this, right? And your legs go like this. One, two, three. So what is that called? I do that and then I do scissor kicks like again I'm laying on the ground so scissor kicks like this and then that and then I do some uh Russian twists just to get the sides of my abs and then of course I have another you know what let me show you this other thing I this thing here is also just for my sit ups so whenever I have to do sit ups I just place my legs uh like that pardon my hairy legs guys we got big foot today this is big foot in the vlog um but i just put my legs like that and i just do my sit ups like that so that's what that is for <laughs> that <laughs> this thing right here just open it up like this see these little straps you just pull them out like that keep it on the side and then you just roll it out like that on the ground and then i just like i lay down on it and i do my ab exercises that's what i was talking about And let me just roll this back up now. <laughs> One sec. Yo, look at, look at that body, man. John Abraham, nah. John Abraham, I'm way, way, way. <laughs> I'm not on his level yet, but I, 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 I got some, some going on. You know what I'm talking about? I still got some. Look, this angle looks good. You can actually see everything from this angle. That's sick, bro. Look at the. Hey, okay, enough of thirsting over myself. Let me just drink some water real quick. 
Shout out to my sister who got me this Lilo in Stitch water bottle. Shout out to her. Thank you. I love this little bad boy. Okay. Now I'm going to do my next workout, which is several workouts that I got to do for my arms. So let's get right to it. Fuck, oh, man. Oh, my armpits. Shit. I might have to cut this out, bro. No, not yet. Okay, hold on. The full. Yeah. And I'll tell you this is once I do that, it'll become normal again. I know that by, by now I know what the scene is. You can see now is just before I let you go, I think the cooling has started. Basically, my fridge guys has completely stopped working. The problem is like sometimes it just randomly stops cooling and that's a bit of a problem as you can imagine right like all of your food is gonna get spoiled so we have been trying to figure this out for about two weeks now we had like actually four different technicians in total who came to check out our fridge the first guy literally said that we have an lg fridge and and he just started like like freaking roasting lg he's like man lg is the most trash brand out there what the fuck are y'all doing? Why do you even have an LG fridge? And <laughs> my dad is like, I know, I know, but it's just it, a part of the reason why I bought it was because the LG brand is like really, really fancy, but also because the fridge is really, it's not super high tech, but it has touchscreen features and it has this beautiful inside little shelves and doors. It's, it's a really nice looking fridge design wise, you know, I, I think it's a wonderful fridge from a design perspective but it's been having this issue and right now like it's still it's going through the same problem right it's going through the exact same problem the ice is also not working so if anybody knows why this problem is happening this f5e i don't know what the fuck that means f5e sounds like a fucking race car or some shit f5e if you know how to fix this problem i swear bro god bless you okay i swear i really need your help so if you do know how to solve this problem please comment down below and let me know what, what i have to do because i really don't know and neither does my dad i don't know man I don't know. I don't even mind just getting like a, a normal fridge. Like we don't need to have a fancy fridge necessarily, but what's up guys? I have gotten ready and now it's time for me to get some hot chocolate. It's actually very close to where I live. It's like a five minute walk. I kid you not. It's like a five minute walk. So we're just going to go outside and the weather is like super nice. Like look outside guys. It's super sunny, which means I definitely need to put on some sunscreen. Oh my god, you're spying on me! Get out of my bathroom! What's wrong with you? This is assault! How dare you? This is assault! Okay, you are officially in my bathroom right now. And I am just gonna put on this sunscreen on my skin, y'all. There we go. It's a little bit. See that? Just a little, little bit. I don't know if you can see it. But we go like this. I already put some on my face, so I just need to cover my arms. And I need my deodorant too, cause I'm a man. And I sweat, I sweat like crazy. So put on this Old Spice. Man, have you guys seen those Old Spice commercials where that like, there's this black guy and it's just that one black dude who's in all of these Old Spice commercials. And he's hilarious, bro. Like honestly, and it's not just him. Old Spice just in general makes super creative commercials. Okay, I also need to put on some perfume. So let me just do that. So I don't know what this is, what the brand is, but I'm just gonna put that on. Oof, it went into my mouth for a second. It's that, I can taste it. I can taste that. Fuck. What is this thing called? This thing. What is it called? It's not a bag, like a pocket bag. I have my wallet inside, so I just wear it like that. Actually, bro, let's let's just wear my hat because it's going to be windy outside too. So 
All right, man, we are ready. Let's get going. Peace. Okay, you know what, guys? My dog was literally looking at me with the most sad puppy eyes and I got depression from looking at him, bro. So I have changed my mind. We are not going to go and get hot chocolate. We're actually going to take this guy out for a walk. Is it time to go for a walk? Walk? I think it's time to go for a walk. Okay, okay, okay. I have it, I have it. Are you crazy? Hang on, hang on. Come here. Uh, come here. Stop. Hang on. Okay guys, we're ready for a walk. Now you'll see he has to pee like everywhere. Like any spot that he finds, bro, he has to mark his territory. I don't know why he's like that, but I think I think all dogs just do that. They just want to feel like they own every single place. Well, you don't, buddy. You don't own anything, okay? And you're happy. You don't own anything and you're happy. You guys, I hear kids, man, so... I have to be super careful because, yeah, you, I don't know if you guys can hear that. That's literally kids screaming. I think it's like recess time or something right now. Wait, how is it re- what time is it? It's like 10.30 a.m. right now. So I'm kind of surprised. I, I thought like the kids must be in class studying like calculus. Not calculus, they're elementary kids. So must be studying math or science or whatever. You know, they just must be in class. That's what I thought. But yeah apparently it's recess time right now so i have to be a little careful because my dog hates kids bro he absolutely despises, and i don't blame him like i i personally don't mind kids but yeah bro like, they can be very loud <laughs> and my dog is a dog so he has sensitive ears so when they start screaming my dog is just like please just shut up no 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 don't eat See, that's another thing. He loves to eat, like, whatever is on the ground. If there's garbage on the ground, he's going to eat the garbage. Trying to smell my next spot. Got to make sure I find a good spot to, to take a piss or possibly take a dump. That's the kids, bro. I have to be careful. Okay, he's... Chill, chill, chill. Come on. You guys, that was so awkward. Basically, I was walking past the kids, right? And then my dog decides to take a shit in front of the kids. Now, mind you, he already took a shit once. Like, as we were entering the park, he already took a shit once. So I thought he was done, right? But then, out of nowhere, he takes another shit when we're, like, walking past the kids. And I, I don't have any more... Uh, toilet paper or dog poo paper right so it, I'm just standing there and the kids are there's this like little girl and she was just staring at me like what she, was, she had no expression on her face she was just looking at me like okay what is happening are you gonna do something about it and I could literally feel her disappointment when I just walked away because I literally didn't have any poo papers left because I didn't know my dog wanted to like what did my dog eat did you eat burrito or something, bro? What did you eat? I don't know. Chal, you chal. And more kids. Okay, so it keeps going out of focus. This is better. So you see that hill, like right there? Yeah, so I actually slid down that hill. And I did it with my mom back in 2012, I think. It's been a while. Over there, 
Okay, again it goes out of focus, but like over there, right? Somewhere over there, I got jumped. My school is that way, right? So you cross the street and then you cross the park and you keep going that way and you basically go home. So one time I was coming back home and over there, these two kids just jumped on my back. For no reason, they just jumped on my back. And then they just ran away. I couldn't even say anything. There are some people who play cricket over here. They come and they play cricket almost every other day. In the evening time, sometimes even in the afternoon. I don't know why they're not playing today. It's such a beautiful day. But they play cricket like right there. And also there was like a soccer net at one point. But they removed it though. Bro, if you want to pee, just pee. And now he wants to smell these flowers. Are you trying to propose to someone? Is that why you need these flowers? Bro, I just experienced the most sweetest and adorable thing. I don't want to flip my camera because they're still there, but there's like a group of kids, right? And they're just like walking around the park. I think it's like part of their daily exercise routine or whatever. So as they were walking, like I was approaching them head on from the opposite direction and we were gonna clash, right? So I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me just go to the grass area and stay out of their way. So I'm on the grass and I'm just walking with my dog and then the teacher that is leading that group of kids, she's like, all right guys, pedestrian line. It was like, these guys are part of the army or something, bro. So well behaved, so obedient. They immediately lined up to, to one side and they left some space for me to actually walk through. So I just thought that was very adorable. Uh, I still walked on the grass. I was like, it's okay, you, don't, you guys don't have to do that. It's all okay. And my dog is still sniffing flowers, bro. All right, so we're just, we're almost home now. I need to go home and have my breakfast because I am so hungry. What's up, guys? I'm finally back home. Now I'm just going to carry on with my day. I have a few other videos that I need to film and a some work that I need to catch up on so I have to get going. That was my vlog for today. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me and if you have any content ideas or any cool things that you want me to try out, cool challenges, cool places that I should visit, whatever. Whatever your ideas are, just leave them down below. And remember guys, your Shanti lies within. Peace out.